Coming to you from the Carol Blanton Ferris Law Firm Studio, it's the A1 Minute, brought to you by Summer Classics Home of Richmond. It's Matt, here we go. The physical work of transforming what's left of the Lee Monument Circle has begun. YME Landscape, a black-owned Richmond company, was selected to revitalize the circle where the Robert E. Lee statue was removed in 2021 with 6,000 plants and 28 trees. The city approved the temporary landscaping plan in September to revitalize the space, also known as Marcus David Peters Circle, until a long-term solution is reached. And tonight, as the Richmond Flying Squirrels look to bounce back against Erie, the team is celebrating girls and women in sports, including a salute to two key members within the organization. Rachel Rodriguez is the team's first full-time sports nutritionist assigned to the AA affiliate, and Bianca Bryan is the Diamond's public address announcer. Nearly one-third of the Squirrels' front office staff are women. And lastly, in the top five this weekend, the Ashland Strawberry Fair happened Saturday with over 300 vendors at Randolph-Macon College. Country Music's Kip Moore stops by the Chesterfield After Hours concert series on Genito Road with guest Priscilla Brock also on Saturday and follow the trail with the Richmond Symphony at its third annual Mile of Music concert through Bryan Park on Hermitage Road with performances by ensembles from different sections of the orchestra. All right, that's it. You can read more stories and personalize your news on the go by downloading the new RTD mobile app or log on to richmond.com slash subscribe to get access to all the e-news. Bookmark richmond.com slash VVN to catch the latest videos and get interactive on social at RTD News and Virginia Video Network. We'll see you on Monday for another A1 Minute brought to you by Summer Classics Home of Richmond featuring livable luxury by Summer Classics and Gabby.